right, yins guys, what's up? Time for another video. Another uh, funny thing that I saw on the TV news uh, just the other day, they actually re repeated this one for a couple of days. Probably a slow news day, but uh, this is some funny shit, and I actually uh, use this as an excuse. Uh, some of you guys that are uh, tuning in uh, recommend a funny movie. Uh, but uh, Anyway, there's this... Uh, Dude that actually made the news, uh, he got caught uh, red-handed uh, trying to break in and rob a place. Oh, no ski mask or anything else. Uh, he had a pair of boxer shorts on his head. I guess he made a little thing for himself to see, you know, through the leg of the boxer shorts. If you want to look this up on uh, Google, you know, you get um, your news sites or whatever to show you the... Uh, video of that particular news incident and all that. Funny as hell, and it said he had, he had socks on his hands, so he didn't have anything else like rubber gloves or any kind of gloves to, uh, to mask the fingerprints. The guy has a pair of socks. They didn't say if it was gym socks or what kind of socks, but a pair of socks on his hand. Boxer shorts on his head. <laughs> Funny as hell. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, while I'm at it, I'll uh, share a movie for you, like about old movies. A couple of you guys that subscribed to me, uh, we're talking about old movies and recommending you one. You know, guys, somebody, you know, you see in funny TV shows or movies, the bandit putting a pantyhose on their head. And uh, there was this movie called Raising Arizona. And then later on, there was a biker involved. A biker bounty hunter, hunter was involved. But um, this uh, repeat offender. It was always going to prison. He lived in a trailer in Arizona. And I guess he somehow uh, managed to start dating and going steady and living together with, uh, well, this is only in the movie, too. Uh, a cop that was a vent, a female cop that was, you know, taking the pictures and doing the things in rap sheet. And all. You know, in the movie, they get together or whatever, and they decide, you know, they were. Uh, kidnapping babies, but in the long run, the babies were all returned, and the one respectable uh, person who owned businesses, and he was some kind of little figure, sending out a reward to get their kid back. They thought that they were going to have a family taking kids, right? But the guy had a history of, in the movie, of robberies. So there was a funny scene in the uh, movie uh, where the guy goes, you know, right in the store, you know, in the movie. They see the space and all, but they do have to make it funny. He just goes, you know, in the, the aisle, opens up a pair of pantyhose right in the convenience store, puts them on his head, and then he goes and get a pair of huggy, uh, the, a box of Huggies diapers, and he has this, uh, he has a pistol when he goes, uh, I'll be taking his Huggies and whatever cash you got, you know, and meanwhile, right after all that, they're being chased, and then they're arguing. The couple was arguing back and forth in the car, and then while they're arguing, uh, he goes, oh, by the way, turn this way, and then he opens up the door and grab, you know, while the car's moving, grabs a pair of Huggies, and they get, get away or whatever. But, oh, and a funny thing is before, that's the, one of the funny parts before before uh, this little argument happens. I forgot to tell you uh, one funny part uh, before she goes and picks them up and they're arguing. He's running after he robs the store, right? And uh, somehow he gets into a pickup truck with a guy, southern accent guy or whatever. Says, I need to ride, whatever. And he goes, funny part, he goes, uh, instead of being, oh, please don't shoot me, the guy goes, hey, Sonny, you have a panty on your head. And then, you know, then after uh, that, they get, somehow he runs up out of the truck and he gets a, uh, he gets a ride and they're arguing. Shit, you know. Like, funny as hell, you know what I mean? But uh, that just movie just come up in my head. Uh, but yeah, you only hope that uh, nobody does no stupid shit in real life to imitate the movie, you know? Uh, of course, you know, robbery in real life is not good. It's not a good thing to do. Because you know? it's bad and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but in the movies, you know, uh, or comedy movies, you saw some of the ones that are comedies, people don't really get killed and there's not really bloodshed. 
in some cases, some of the comedies, people get killed in a kind of funny way. And then you get the uh, Leslie Nelson style uh, humor, naked gun star humor, or about, you know, you know what I mean. 